How to make YouTube videos without showing your face? Well, I get asked this question all the time. Is it possible? Yes, it's absolutely possible. Let me show you the easiest way to do it. Welcome back, I'm Karen Carr and I teach real estate agents how to use YouTube to get new clients, not to go viral and make a bazillion dollars in AdSense revenue, but to get people to pick up the phone and call you and say things like, Hi, I found you on YouTube and I want to buy a house in the Savannah area. Will you help me? Hi, Karen. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I feel like I know you already. You don't know me, but I'm thinking of selling my house in Richmond Hill. Do you think you could come over and give me a listing presentation on Saturday? Just bring the paperwork. We're ready to sign. Yes, that is actually what happens when you make YouTube videos and you're on camera because people get to know, like, and trust you. But I get that a lot of you are at your very beginning of your journey, that you're not yet comfortable being on camera, and you're not sure that you're ever going to get there, quite honestly. I hear you. Let's talk about how you can at least start making videos even if you don't show your face on camera. Today, I am using an awesome program called WeVideo. We Video is an online video editing program that is not dependent on your operating system. Because it's running in your browser, it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac or a PC or a Chromebook or whatever you're using. We Video is a subscription-based model, so you can either pay monthly or you can pay for the entire year in advance and you get a discount for doing so. There are many different plans, but the one that I recommend is the professional level because they include a lot of free stock footage in there, but that's a different video. I am recording this in November of 2020, and right now everything is half price when you buy it and pay for the annual plan. So you're saving a lot of money if you will pay for it in advance. However, if you just want to try it and see if you like it, just go month to month while you're checking it out. I do have an affiliate link that I will put down below. If you would be so kind to click that link, I do receive a small commission when you enjoy Wee Video, and let them know that I recommended you. So feel free to choose it if you like. Now, once you are inside Wee Video, you can record your video directly into the software editing program. And I love this because we don't need third-party software for doing a screencast, and then we have to download it, and then we have to upload it into our editor. It's all done from inside Wee Video, which is pretty amazing. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we record without being on camera. Now, as I am recording this, I can put my face in the little corner as I'm showing the screen, or I cannot be visible at all. So let me show you exactly how we do that. All I have to do is go up to record. It's going to ask me if I want to record my face on the webcam or only my screen or both. If I choose both, it will record my screen and it will put my face in a little thumbnail in the corner, which is a great way to get yourself used to being on camera, by the way. If your face is in an itty bitty thumbnail, maybe it won't be as scary as having it take up the entire frame. You, baby steps. We'll start with not being on camera, and then we'll work up to the thumbnail, and then we'll work up to being on camera. So what sort of things could you demonstrate with a screencast? In my area, we are in a flood prone area. We live in the low country. It's very easy to have things flood here. Sometimes when you buy a house, it will be required to have flood insurance. I could go over to my website where I type in the address of the house and it will tell me, do you have to have flood insurance? Yes or no. What if I wanted to do market updates? I could go to my MLS. I could log in and I could do a search to say, all right, let's find out what the market is doing in Savannah. What if you're making a video for people that are thinking about relocating to your area and you want to do a cost of living analysis? You could go to a website like nerdwallet.com, pull up their cost of living calculator, and you would say, if you currently live in San Francisco and you're thinking about moving to Savannah, Georgia, and your current income, 50,000 in San Francisco, that's nothing, let's say. 
If you're making $100,000 in San Francisco, you only need to make $43,928 a year to have the same quality of life, the same standard of living as in San Francisco. So that just shows you how far your money goes. You could do a neighborhood tour where you take your phone, you mount it on a dashboard in the little suction cup mount thing. Yes, it's very shaky. This was not a good video, but you know what? It still has 9,000 views. So apparently the viewers forgave me. And I even cracked a joke about it and said, sorry, it's so shaky, but it was either that or stick my arm out the window holding my phone, which I felt was probably not the better option. And I drive through the neighborhood and say, here's what it looks like. Here's what the houses look like. Here's what the playground looks like, the pool, the golf course. The average time to sell is, the average house price is. I'm literally giving them a tour of this neighborhood and my face is not on screen anywhere. I was even able to use still photos that I put in like this, doing the Ken Burns effect, whereas, which is where the video kind of zooms in and it zooms out, but it's not a video, it's just a static photo with a little bit of motion. And because we video is so simple to use when you're done recording, it automatically drops it down onto your timeline. You'll be able to do some editing, add some fancy transitions, maybe do a voiceover. If you were not speaking at certain parts of the video, add music behind it, add some transitions. And when you're all done, you hit finish and you export it directly to YouTube without even having to download it to your computer first. We video screen recorder is pretty darn awesome. Do you want to start using YouTube as a way to draw in new clients to your real estate business? I have a whole YouTube starter kit that I made totally free. It's got templates for making your channel art and your thumbnails, cheat sheets and checklists and where to get gear and all of the things. So here is the link to the YouTube starter kit. I highly recommend that you go get that now and start on your journey to attracting clients with YouTube right now.